Hi guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video because someone was asking me um, to make a video about my post on the community page. And also I wanted to explain something else about my last video where I posted the picture of a damn area. That could be any damn area. I don't know where the hell it is. But let me just say I got it four years ago. I don't know if it fits here. I was told by someone that he was possibly seen there or someone was seen there. So I thought that I would put it out. Whether it was searched or not, it's possible that he was there at one point and now he's not. I have no idea. I only post things like that if someone tells me, okay, this makes sense. Just in case it fits. You can never be too careful. If I don't put it out and then something happens and it ends up making sense later, then I'll always kick myself. I've done that in the past where I haven't posted things and they ended up being right in some way, shape, or form. Now, it could be evidence. It could be anything. Um, because in this case, as stated in the readings before anything came out, there's evidence thrown everywhere to take people off of the direction or scent of Elijah. Now, um, so again, as I stated in that video that I wasn't sure if it fit there, but I was told he was seen in that area and it looked like my picture. I drew that picture four years ago in Malia. Like, I don't know where the hell it fits. I don't know if it fits anywhere. It could have already been a case that happened and we just haven't found anybody. Like, I don't know. I just put it out just in case. I'm like, you guys, I have to put the puzzle pieces together. The way that this works, it's not like, okay, let me point for me anyways. Okay, I'm sure there's psychics that can do that. But that's why I'm learning the forensic astrology because location is very tough for me. I get pulled in all directions, as I've stated multiple times, due to evidence, where they drove, where they're from, whatever. I get very overwhelmed. And so far, I haven't really felt much on the map in regards to him. Um, other than I just keep getting pulled everywhere. Uh, but lately, I've been getting pulled down to Manitok, Minotok, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and all my cards keep pulling that area for some reason. So last night, yesterday, um, I've been trying to catch up on stuff. But I had to do forensic astrology when my friend can teach me. Because, you know, pretty soon she's not going to have the time. And so I'm trying to learn this as best as I can, as fast as I can. So I did like a whole session with her. And then later in the evening, I was reading the book to my bird. Yes, to my bird. He decided he wanted to sit on my chest while I read out loud because that's the only way I can comprehend things is if I hear it. Um, so I was reading it and I went in the forensic, forensic astrology for everyone. And it mentioned about the second house and the second house having storage, um, like a second house rule storage units. Okay. So... I thought that was really interesting because the storage unit I've gotten multiple times. Um, I see it through the trees. So whether it's he's in a storage unit, by a storage unit, whatever, there's a storage unit that's significant. All the cards I pull are storage. Uh, I mean, I pulled stored card multiple times and all of that. So again, all of these things are just to give extra information because honestly, I just put clues together like you do. That's all I can do. That's how it works. It's I'm not God. I'm not a mystical being. I don't know everything. Fortunately, I wish I did. I can only know what spirit gives me. And at this point, there's two cases that I'm very stuck on. And that's because I haven't been given a lot of information. My first two readings are usually the most accurate. When I saw them burying something, it could have been evidence. There has been evidence that's been found buried, allegedly, um, with, where one of the Neptune lines go. Allegedly. So a lot of our astrology lines are hitting places where uh, things have been found. All right. Um, so everything I get is not always just the body. It's not always just remains. It can also be relevant to where they've gone or evidence that they've, they've put somewhere. All right. Um, and again, this is all alleged and innocent until proven guilty. Yada, yada. Um, so anyways, back to the second house ruling of sword sheds. So I contacted my astrology friend because she has the chart. She's actually going to message them to me so I can take a, a closer look at them. Because when we were practicing yesterday, I kept getting visions off the astrology charts. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll do that with Elijah and Sebastian. And maybe I'll see something that she's not seeing. You know, sometimes people have fresh eyes or see different things. And so because I was reading these, you know, the house and I noticed the storage shed. I had had the vision of the storage shed. Right. So I said, is there anything in the second house? And she says, uh... Neptune and Jupiter are there. Interestingly, and in, or yeah, not Neptune and Jupiter. Sorry, Jupiter and Uranus are there. Um, so Jupiter actually goes down Manitok, if that's how you say that word. Sorry, Uranus goes a little bit, and then it goes into the water. 
um, it's usually, you know, you start going on a little bit. There can be things along the line, but it's usually where the line ends. Um, so I wanted to just mention that the second house, again, we have Jupiter and Uranus and those rule storage sheds. It also rules banks and money. I keep pulling the bank card. I don't think I have a storage shed card. I'm not sure. But what's interesting is Jupiter and, again, Uranus are shocking events. Also, Jupiter is a little lucky and Uranus is technology. Um, but again, this takes me back to like the readings I did and it mentioning. So whether it's evidence, whether it's him, I don't know, but, and it's not one that's been checked. This is not one that we know about. Okay. This is, would be one that it's either where, like where he could be by or where he could be in or where evidence could be by or be in. All right. So it would be something that they did undercover. Um, just saying there's been several cases where women have been found in storage sheds years later, months later, nobody even knew about it. So just saying we're talking about a little child here and it's possible. You can't change the astrology. Something is there. There's got to be something up with the storage shed. If not, it's bank and money, but I'm taking it in a storage shed because it's come up in the readings and whatnot. Also, I wanted to mention that this fourth house rules home or residence or current location. Um, it can indicate the home of a subject as, uh, so how far away the subject may be from the family home. Interesting. The moon is in that area. Um, is the moon is in that house in the fourth house. Um, so I am just a baby, baby, baby person learning this, but stumbling through it. And I just thought that was an interesting, cool find that I wanted to mention. Um, So, I'm just trying again to piece things together. I do want to mention that he also has a stellium in his crime chart in the 11th house, which does rule um, or depicts an area known by both of them. So, subjects that disappear from group settings can be traced with the house. Also, this house locate lovers outside the marriage or secret alliance to no one knows about. So, maybe somebody they don't know about could be by them or somewhere that these two know. So. Um, I have not seen what planets there are. I have to get back to you on that because I haven't got the astrology chart yet. But this is just food for thought um, that I wanted to put out there just in case. So, again, I'm just putting clues together. I can only take them from my readings. You know, if it gets closer to the time he's supposed to be found, I might get more information. I might not. Who knows? I have no control over any of it. Um, so when I put videos out, I'm not necessarily saying, oh yeah, they're right there for sure. I'm not trying to send anybody on a wild goose chase either. That's not what I try to do. But if we don't check areas, we don't know. Um, they're running around checking all these areas anyways. It's not going to hurt to check certain things and see. Um, so again, like the last video said, I was just putting that out because I was told somebody was seeing that looked like him that was there. And I said, well, I got this, this picture of a dam and it looks like that area, but there's lots of dams around there. There's one in, um, another M name that's up. I don't want to say the names wrong, but it's, it's up the map. Um, so there's a few different reservoirs and dams around there. Might not even be his case, but I had to post it because it looks so much like it. You understand what I mean? It could also be just a reference point where they drove by or they were by. So we have to understand that too. The way that readings work is there's reference points. So here's reference points of a dam. He could be close by that. Or it, it cause I will see things and their reference points. Um, I think Anaya, I, I drew basically, you know, where like she was found, but it didn't make sense at the time. So she was found. Um, you know, same thing with Dylan. Of course, it would have, it was very obvious, but no one checked that area. So again, if I draw things, if I say things, it can be reference points. It doesn't mean exactly the area. Psychics can get within a few a few miles, but spirit only has reference points to show us. Sometimes we get names, sometimes we don't. That's just the way that it works. Uh, all we have, all we can do is put the clues together. And I'm not trying to lead everybody around on on wild goose chases and all that. I just put it out because I was told that, you know. It matched that area, and he, someone like him was seen there. That's the only reason I put it out, because I, I had went over it multiple times in my head. Do I put it out? Do I not? So, again, um, that doesn't mean something wasn't put in there, and it didn't wash down the river somewhere either. 
So regardless of if it was searched right away or, or whatnot, the river's pretty fast. Um, things sink, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to follow leads, put out information so that you never know. Because later, if I don't do it and it may, it's relevant, then I'll be kicking myself. So that's why I put out information. Just like this information, whether it's evidence, whether whatever it is, storage shed has come in multiple times. I kept asking, where's the storage shed? And it happens to be he's got two planets in the house that rule storage sheds. So wouldn't be one that they know about, obviously. Just throwing it out there. All right. This is my most recent update. This is all I got for you. Just wanted to explain a few things because I saw some comments on the other video. Was never saying he was there for certain or anything like that. I'm just trying to match things up. Get visions and don't know where they fit. That's just the way it is. That wasn't even in this case. That was four years ago. Like that might have happened and we don't even know. So I just was like, well, knowing how my stuff works, I get precognitive stuff and interconnects and you can never be too sure. All right. So... I'll be seeing much more of you guys soon as soon as my schedule kind of clears out a little bit. Um, I have, I'm have i cutting off private readings. There's a couple on Wednesdays, I think, that I've left open. If you want to snag those. Um, if not, I think I've cut it off for a few months. Um, and so I'll have to be on here doing live readings. And, and, and if anybody wants to donate, they're more than welcome to. But don't feel obligated to do so. But... My time is going to be spent working on cases, putting up videos, um, working on my other platforms. It's just where I'm feeling called right now um, to, to do these kind of things. People ask me to work cases all the time, and I just don't have the time and energy, and I'd like to spend some time doing that. So thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, being here, being supportive of my channel, being supportive of me, being supportive of the hard work that I put into this because people don't understand the hours that I like sit and look at a map, how many times I've gone over this astrology map, how many times... Like, I was up doing this till, I don't know, 7 o'clock in the morning when I realized this. And then I was, like, bugging my astrologist. So, pretty soon I po hopefully won't have to bother her anymore. But I'm learning and evolving and trying to make this channel um, interesting by, by trying different things to get as much clues as we can. Because, again, I'm only a human. I don't know everything. Cases are extremely hard. It's about putting puzzle pieces together. That's just the way that it works. Anybody that tells you any different they don't know how this works. We're not just going to be able to point to an area or say this or that. And again, timing. So if I'm not meant to get anything in this time, I won't. It, you know, things work out the way they're supposed to work out. And I, I constantly have to tell myself that. And so I try to teach you guys that because everything has a timing to it, no matter what it is, especially in cases. We know that from the precognitive and the, in, in the interconnects and how things work. So everything has a timing. So regardless of how hard you work on something. But just wanted to throw this out. I will see you guys next time. And again, thank you so much.